हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू इन लेक्चर नंबर सेवन ऑन रिकरेंस रिलेशंस इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वन मोर एग्जांपल ऑन द सॉल्यूशन ऑफ लीनियर होमोजीनियस रिकरेंस रिलेशंस विथ कॉन्स्टेंट कोफिशंस द एग्जांपल सेज दैट वी हैव टू फाइंड द सॉल्यूशन टू द रिकरेंस रिलेशन गिवन बाय दिस फॉर्मूला ए एन इक्वल टू माइनस थ्री टाइम्स ए एन माइनस वन माइनस थ्री टाइम्स ए एन माइनस टू माइनस ए एन माइनस थ्री विथ इनिशियल कंडीशंस ए जीरो इक्वल टू वन ए वन इक्वल टू माइनस टू एंड ए टू इक्वल टू माइनस वन एज वी नो दैट टू सॉल्व द रिकरेंस रिलेशन फर्स्ट वी हैव टू राइट डाउन द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक इक्वेशन कॉरस्पॉन्डिंग टू गिवन रिकरेंस रिलेशन एंड बिफोर दैट Uh, I am transferring all these terms on the left hand side. That is, I am rewriting this recurrence relation in this form: a n plus three times a n minus one plus three times a n minus two plus a n minus three equal to zero. So I am taking all these terms on the right hand side, left hand side. and uh, now i will write down the characteristic equation corresponding to this recurrence relation the characteristic equation is so what we will do is we will replace an by r raised to n and this is uh, recurrence relation of degree 3 so after replacing an by r raised to n we will replace n by 3 that is instead of an i will write down r raised to 3 plus 3 into an minus 1 is r raised to n minus 1 and n is replaced by 3 so i have r square that is 3 r square plus 3 into an minus 2 an minus 2 is replaced by r raised to n minus 2 and n is replaced by 3 that is r so we have 3r plus an minus 3 is replaced by r raised to n minus 3 and n is replaced by 3 that is 0 which is 1 and here coefficient is 1 therefore i have plus 1 equal to 0 so in this way we can write down the characteristic equation corresponding to given recurrence relation we will replace an by r raised to n and then n by degree of recurrence relation now you can observe that uh, this uh, left hand side is nothing but cube of r plus 1 so i am writing this as cube of r plus 1 and uh, from this i can see that i have three values of r which are repeated so i have the case of real and equal roots and we know that if we have real and equal roots then we can write down the general solution of given recurrence relation as an equal to alpha 1 into r raised to n r is minus 1 plus alpha 2 into r raised to n and here i have to multiply with n because this is repeated and uh, again minus 1 raised to n and this is multiplied by n square so this is the general solution of given recurrence relation we can rewrite this by taking minus 1 raised to n common and uh, i have alpha 1 plus alpha 2 into n alpha 3 into n square multiplied with minus 1 raised to n this is the general solution of given recurrence relation we give this number 1 and here n can takes the value 0 1 2 and so on now we have to find out the solution of given recurrence relation which satisfies given initial conditions and given conditions are a0 equal to 1 a1 is minus 2 and a2 equal to minus 1 so to use a0 equal to 1 first we take n equal to 0 in this general solution 
which we have given as number 1 so taking n equal to 0 in 1 we obtain a0 equal to alpha 1 plus 0 plus 0 and minus 1 raised to 0 that is 1 this means alpha 1 is equal to a0 and value of a0 is 1 therefore we obtain alpha 1 equal to 1 now we take n equal to 1 in given uh, in the general solution which we have obtained taking n equal to 1 in 1 we have a1 equal to alpha 1 here i am taking n equal to 1 everywhere on the right hand side as well as left hand side so i have a1 equal to alpha 1 plus 1 into alpha 2 that is alpha 2 square of 1 into alpha 3 that is alpha 3 and minus 1 raised to 1 which is minus 1 so what i will obtain alpha 1 plus alpha 2 plus alpha 3 into minus 1 that is negative of alpha 1 plus alpha 2 plus alpha 3 into minus 1 and we are given the value of a1 a1 is minus 2 so let me put a1 also a1 equal to minus 2 into minus 1 times alpha 1 plus alpha 2 plus alpha 3 and this minus 1 will get cancelled on both sides and we have alpha 1 plus alpha 2 plus alpha 3 equal to 2 and we have value of alpha 1 is 1 that we can substitute here if we consider alpha 2 plus alpha 3 then it is 2 minus alpha 1 alpha 1 is 1 therefore what we have obtained alpha 2 plus alpha 3 equal to 1 and we give this number 2 now we take n equal to 2 in the general solution taking n equal to 2 in general solution we have a2 equal to alpha 1 plus n into alpha 2 that is 2 alpha 2 plus n square into alpha 3 that is 4 alpha 3 into minus 1 raised to 2 I am putting n equal to 2 here and I have alpha 1 plus 2 alpha 2 plus 2 square that is 4 alpha 3 into square of minus 1 alpha 1 plus 2 alpha 2 plus 4 alpha 3 into square of minus 1 and uh, alpha a2 is given as minus 1 so we substitute a2 equal to minus 1 also therefore minus 1 and uh, square of minus 1 is 1 alpha 1 we have obtained as 1 so that also we substitute alpha 1 is 1 plus 2 alpha 2 plus 4 alpha 3 and from this I will obtain 2 alpha 2 plus 4 alpha 3 equal to minus 1 minus 1 that is minus 2 again we can cancel out factor 2 which is common in each term and we are left with alpha 2 plus 2 alpha 3 equal to minus 1 and we give this number 3 and equation 2 is alpha 2 plus alpha 3 equal to 1 here we have alpha 2 plus 2 alpha 3 equal to minus 1 and we can solve equation 2 and 3 and uh, for solution we have to subtract equation 3 from equation 2 so let me write here equation 2 is alpha 2 plus alpha 3 equal to 1 and uh, equation 3 is alpha 2 plus 2 alpha 3 equal to minus 1 and I have to subtract so because I have positive sign here I have negative negative here positive alpha 2 minus alpha 2 0 alpha 3 minus 2 alpha 3 that is minus 3 and 1 plus 1 is 2 this means alpha 3 is minus 2 and uh, alpha 2 from equation 2 is 1 minus alpha 3 
by 2 alpha 2 is equal to 1 minus alpha 3 alpha 3 is minus 2 so we have alpha 2 equal to 3 alpha 2 is 3 alpha 3 is minus 2 and alpha 1 is 1 so finally we have to substitute values of alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha 3 in the general solution and we will have required particular solution which satisfies given initial conditions also therefore the required solution is a n equal to alpha 1 which is 1 alpha 2 is 3 that is uh, alpha 2 into n that is 3 n alpha 3 is minus 2 that is minus 2 into n square into minus 1 raised to n I have substituted values of alpha 1 alpha 2 and alpha 3 in this formula of general solution alpha 1 is 1 alpha 2 is what is alpha 2 alpha 2 is 3 and alpha 3 is minus 2 so that I have substituted here so this is the required solution satisfying given initial condition as well as given recurrence relation if you wish you can verify your solution you must put n equal to 0 here to obtain a0 if I put n equal to 0 I will have a0 equal to 1 if I put n equal to 1 I will have a1 equal to 1 plus 3 minus 2 into minus 1 that is 4 minus 2 which is 2 into minus 1 which is minus 2 and for n equal to 2 I will have a2 equal to 1 plus if I take n equal to 2 I have 1 plus 3 into 2 6 minus for n equal to 2 this is 4 into 2 that is 12 and for n equal to 2 this is square of minus 1 which is 1 and uh, you can see 7 minus 12 that is minus 5 so initial conditions are 1 minus 2 and minus 5 let me check this matches with this or not so here I have a2 equal to minus 1 I am getting 1 and minus 2 so let me check where I have made the mistake 1 and minus 2 are there and if I take n equal to 2 here I have 1 plus 3 into 6 3 into 2 6 minus 8 and uh, this is minus 1 so here I have 1 plus 6 minus 8 and I obtain minus 1 that means this is the correct solution satisfying given recurrence relation as well as initial conditions so in this way you can solve linear homogeneous recurrence relations and uh, in this example we have taken repeated roots so fine this is all about this session thanks for watching